हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मिड लेप टेक के पी इन योर प्रीवियस रिसेंट क्लासेस आर एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ यूरिन स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ यूरिन फिकल ऑकल ब्लड टेस्ट और एफ ए वी टी आई होप यू वुड रियली एन्जॉय आवर क्लासेस एंड इजिली अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दो पॉइंट आई डिस्क्राइब टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज हीट एंड एसिटिक एसिड टेस्ट और डिटेक्शन ऑफ प्रोटीन इन यूरिन लेट्स सी protein in urine introduction about 20 mg of protein that is the albumin is normally excreted in 24 hour urine healthy kidney does not allow a significant amount of protein to pass through their filters but filters damaged by kidney disease may let protein leak from the blood into the urine that causes the proteinuria is the over production of protein by the body generally kidney disease often has no early symptoms next nature of protein generally five types of protein are found in urine sample those are serum or plasma albumin number 2 serum or plasma globulin number 3 mucin number 4 hemoglobin number 5 is benzose protein the commonest urinary protein is albumin hence the term is albuminuria but proteinuria is the more scientific term serum globulin also present with albumin in urine these two proteins constitute what is actually known as urinary albumin when equal volume of urine and saturated solution of ammonium sulfate are mixed then globulin gets precipitated then the mucin mucin is present in trace amount in urine and it is precipitated without heating no heat is required for it then the hemoglobin generally does not appear but when hemolysis of red cell occur then hemoglobin is found in the urine benzone's protein is found in the plasma cell myeloma when a people suffer from multiple myeloma then benzone's protein and serum albumin both are found in the urine of the patient here a structure of serum albumin is shown next test for protein generally two types of test are done in medical laboratory those are the qualitative test and quantitative test qualitative test are heat and acetic acid test is the most common test here a picture of heat and acetic test is given look at the urine in the tubes and heat upper portion and white cloud is formed this is the heat and acetic acid test let's the describe heat and acetic acid test broadly introduction it is the basic test qualitative test for detection of protein and regularly done in all laboratories the urine should be acidic add few drops of 3% acetic acid to make the alkaline urine to acidic urine and the urine should be clear methods take urine in a clean test tube filling with two third portion boil it upper half or 1 inch portion of the column by holding the test tube at the bottom a picture will shown in the next slide then again i will describe let's read the points a white cloud appear in the heated portion if the protein or phosphate are present then add 2 or 3 drops of 3% glycyl acetic acid if the cloudiness is disappear it is due to the phosphate if the cloudiness persist after adding glycyl acetic acid then it is albumin next that shown the picture look at the first sample where test tube is filled with urine then heated the upper portion by lamp 
then a white cloudness is present due to phosphate or albumin then added the 3% glacial acetic acid few drops then look at the left side test tube the cloudness disappear this is because of the phosphate and the right side test tube the cloudness still persist after adding 3% glacial acetic acid that is the albumin that is the main reaction of heat and acetic acid next why we heated upper part of the column generally this question is asked in various viva exam this is because on the heating of the upper part the proteins flocculate and hazeles is produced which is compared to the lower unheated part which acts as a control in addition convection currents are not produced which may disturb the hazeles on the other hand if the lower part of the urine is heated the convection current are set up which makes the whole tube hazy and trace the protein may be missed since there no control that means the all the tube become hazeles and you cannot understand that is the albumin or due to other that's why the upper portion is heated in this test next result if there are no cloudiness after heating the urine sample that is the negative or barely visible cloudiness or rarely cloudiness that is the trace amount if defined definite cloudiness with out granular flocculation that is the plus 1 if there are heavy and granular cloud without flocculation that is the plus 2 if there are grains cloud of flocculation is present there is plus 3 or if there are thick curdy precipitate and coagulation is produced that is the plus 4 here a picture of the heat and acidic acid test given look at the upper portion of the test tube that is the cloud is formed it should be plus 2 plus 2 without flocculation heavy but without flocculation so other quality tests are done in laboratories those are the sulfur salicylic acid test hiller nitric acid test and dip stick method it is commercially available and most probably done in many laboratories district method okay this is all about your heat and acetic acid test i hope you will understand my all points and enjoy our video so please subscribe our channel like our videos share and comments in the comment section and if any query then email me kuntalpanja100@gmail.com okay guys thank you